All right, so I found 15 passive income ideas that earn as much as $10,000 a month and you can do all of them in 2024 starting right now. And the best thing is most of these are accessible to anyone watching this video. So go ahead, cheers the like button and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be selling templates. Because who said art doesn't pay? And basically what this involves is creating and selling pre-designed formats. And these are ones that various different businesses and individuals can use for various purposes. And these templates could include resumes, presentations, websites, or even Excel sheets for finances. And some of these Excel sheets or Google sheets, for instance, could have automations attached to them where they can just automatically do things whenever they get updated. And if you don't think you can make money from this, here's a story of a guy who made $534,000 selling templates. And basically he did this by creating Notion templates. And Notion is kind of like a project management software, but it's also an organization software as well. And you can basically customize it to whatever you want. And that's one of the reasons why it's so popular is because there's so many different ways to customize your Notion template. And there's also a lot of automations that you can put into Notion so you can automatically do things whenever you update something. And so it's incredibly useful. So yeah, selling templates is awesome. There's so many different types of templates you can sell. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is going to be investing in REITs. And REIT stands for Real Estate Investment Trust. And this basically lets you invest in real estate without the hassle of being a landlord. And it's sort of like an index fund, if you're familiar with those, where you you know invest a certain amount and you're actually investing in like a thousand different stocks, except you're doing it in real estate instead of companies. So this allows you to invest in real estate without all the headache. And it also allows you to diversify your investments. Because if you invest in one house, who knows what could happen to it? There could be an earthquake, there could be a fire, you never know. But if you invest in a thousand different houses, chances are that's not gonna happen to all of them. Now, basically the way REITs work is you invest into it and then by law, they have to pay 90% or more of their taxable profits in the form of dividends. And you'd get these dividends every single month. So yeah, REITs can be a really good way of diversifying your investments and investing in real estate without having to worry about all the headaches of being a landlord, buying property, et cetera. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be selling educational worksheets. And this basically involves creating and selling educational materials, such as study guides, lesson plans, or practice sheets, and then selling it on an e-commerce platform. So a lot of the time, for instance, you'd be selling these to either teachers or people who are homeschooling their children. And if you don't think you can make money from this, well, guess what? This person, Michelle, talked about how she makes $400,000 per year selling educational printables. So you definitely have the ability to get to at least $10,000 a month doing this. And the great thing about it is it's relatively passive. You create the educational printable, you put it up online, and it pretty much just does the work for you from there. So this is one of those ways where you can actually make it into a passive income machine. Now, of course, you do have to do the work up front and you'd want to do a bunch of market research. You'd also want to put it on the correct website so that they market it for you. But if there's a bunch of people already searching for this, you're probably not going to have to do that much marketing. So yeah, this one is really good. I'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, share this with a friend who needs to see it if you know somebody who needs to have some really good passive income ideas. We do a ton of work on these videos. We make sure that we want to put out the absolute best quality information for you. So if you appreciate that, share it with a friend. Also like the video, because that shows us that you want us to make more of these types of videos. And also comment down below if you like some of these ideas or there's some other ideas that we should have talked about. What's up guys? So I'm sitting here in the editing process and I realized that I actually have a live stream. It's basically going to be like a workshop. It's going to be a Zoom workshop. You're going to be in a call with me and I'm going to be teaching you how to grow and monetize YouTube. I'm going to be revealing the five biggest secrets that I have when it comes to growing and monetizing YouTube. And then on top of that, I'm going to be answering any questions that you have about starting a successful YouTube channel. So that is going to be 8 p.m. on Tuesday Eastern Daylight Time, because they recently changed that, so it's EDT, Eastern Daylight Time. Um, so make sure you double check on the time because the time zone change is gonna be happening here pretty soon. So Eastern Daylight Time, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Um, definitely check it out, don't wanna miss it. I'll see you there. Next is going to be buying and selling blogs or website domains. 
So this is exactly what it sounds like. You would basically go out there and you'd either search for existing blogs or you'd search for existing website domains that you think have really good names, right? So an example of this is right as the whole NFT thing was getting really popular, there were probably a bunch of people out there who bought a bunch of different NFT related website domains and maybe even blogs that already existed. And chances are, as they got more popular, the price of those websites went up tremendously. So you might have bought them for $50 and then been able to sell them for like $5,000. There's a video of this guy who talked about how he made $180,000 in profit by buying and selling websites part time. There's another guy who talks about how he made $178,000 after flipping a website that he bought for $52,000 last year. So yeah, this is a legit way to make money. People have been doing this for years and years. And in some cases, they might like micro flip it. So they might buy it for $50, then sell it for 100 bucks. I mean, that's still pretty good profit. So yeah, buying and selling blogs, buying and selling website domains, really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be creating an app. Now, this is one where there is a tremendous amount of work up front. And by the way, you could create an app. You could also create an extension that works in Google Chrome, for instance. There's many different ways of doing this. But yeah, it's a ton of work up front. But if you're able to create a really good one that just runs on its own, the beautiful thing about having a company like this where you create an app or a piece of software is it pretty much just does everything on its own after that. And there was a really cool story about a kid, I believe he was even a teenager, who created an app called Sumly, which basically does a summarization using artificial intelligence technology uh, that summarizes different blog posts and news articles. And then he was able to sell that app to Yahoo for $30 million. This is another example of this guy, Chad Moretta, and he was basically a real estate agent that got injured and ended up in a hospital. And then he created an app that had to do with kind of fingerprint security. And within the first month, he was already making $12,000 in sales monthly. Two months after launch, he got to $30,000 a month. And then a little bit after that, he got to $120,000 a month in income. Then in the next two years, he created and sold three different app companies, which raked in millions and millions of dollars. So yeah, this is a really good way of making passive income, although it's not very passive at first. There's a ton of work up front. I think out of all the ones on this list, this is the one where it has the highest ceiling. I mean, you could literally make like $30 million or $100 million. But with that being said, it's really difficult to get started and it's not as passive as a lot of the other ones on this list. So I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be creating and selling online courses. So this is something that I have done myself. And this is something where if you get really good at something that a bunch of other people want to get good at, you can actually just create a course out of it and then sell it online. And it's incredibly passive. You create the course one time, you do all the work up front, it probably will take a few weeks or even a month. But then after that, it just sells like crazy. It's completely passive. So there's an example of someone who posted posted on Reddit that basically said they built and sold an online course for $6 million in two years. And they talked about how within just a very short period of time, they're raking in three to $4,000 a day. And there's another person, Michelle, who talked about how she made over a million dollars from her first course without a big launch. And there's a former high school math teacher who earned $1 million teaching online coding courses, right? So he's a high school math teacher. He probably did a little bit of coding on the side to supplement his mathematics knowledge. And he was able to make an online course and sell a bunch of it. Then he said that he started selling the course for $199 originally. Now there's a bunch of websites out there where you can actually host these courses and the websites will actually market them for you. These include Udemy, Teachable in some cases, Skillshare, also Coursera for certain types of courses. And yeah, there's a lot of opportunities here. Courses are extremely passive. I've done this myself before. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be rental real estate property. So this is where you're actually going to be probably buying the property yourself and then you're going to be the landlord for the property or at the very least, you're gonna to have to hire a property manager in order to manage it. Now, this is more profitable than investing in REITs, but it's also much less passive. So you could hire a property manager that does a lot of the work for you, but then you're gonna be making a lot less in profits. Now, there's endless amounts of content online about investing in real estate and basically how that's done. And there's a lot of different ways you can do it. For instance, what's really popular right now is actually uh, just posting your apartment on Airbnb, but there's tons of stories online of people making money from this. For instance, 
this 33 year old's four rental properties bring in $11,000 a month. And that's just in cash flow. That doesn't count his equity in the property itself. This other 32 year old grosses $431,000 a year from his real estate investments. And he basically travels around and lives in a converted van. So it's extremely passive. And then there's this guy who made $50,000 renting out his apartment on Airbnb and he was able to buy a house from the money that he made. So yeah, there's basically endless stories on how to make money from real estate and endless content on the internet. I'm not a real estate expert, so I'm not gonna go into that, but I think everybody knows this is a good way of making money. However, it's not as passive as a lot of the gurus make it out to be. So yeah, the opportunity score here is going to be an eight out of 10. Next is going to be starting a YouTube channel. So this is one where I pretty much always have to mention it because the truth is like all these people on YouTube that are talking about about like the different ways of making money. Sure, they are probably very good at making money from real estate or whatever they're talking about. I'm not gonna say that they aren't, but the truth is the way most of them are making most of their money and what they're actually doing is they are creating content right? I mean, that's just that's just the truth. Now, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. I mean, if you know how to make money doing something, there's nothing wrong with teaching a bunch of other people how to make money doing that thing as well. But I think a lot of them need to be more honest about what they're actually doing and where their income sources are coming from. For instance, I make over six figures a month on this channel and the vast majority of the money I make comes from teaching people how to get into jobs, right? So I help them get into a bunch of different types of jobs and I make money by doing that. Only a very tiny percentage of the money that I make comes from actually helping other people make YouTube channels. But that is something that I do from time to time. I actually take a few students every month and I help them to get started on YouTube so that they can start growing and making money from their channel. And in my opinion, this is without a doubt the best way to make Make money these days creating content beats basically every other type of making money online and the best thing is if you create content in the right way it's basically going to be like a little soldier that for the next 20 or 30 years goes out every day with the single mission of making you money so every single piece of content is going to be like a money making machine for the next 20 or 30 years for you and so it doesn't get much more passive than that so yeah i do teach a few people how to do this every month um, i'm very picky about who i accept but you can apply by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below there's also some free training down there. You should, you should definitely check it out. I basically go over exactly how to do this and my story of how I was able to do it. But like I said, we only accept a few people every month. We're very picky about who we want to work with because we only work with people if we absolutely know that we can get them results. But if you think you're that type of person who's really dedicated to doing this and you're willing to put in the work, you can go ahead and apply by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So yeah, this one gets a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. But of course, I'm biased, but really it is the best opportunity out there. And there's over 500,000 people in the United States alone that are making a full-time income on YouTube. And that is rapidly growing. Another thing you could do is start a vending machine or ATM business. And this is basically something that's extremely automated. The only thing you have to do is go in and restock the machine. And you can actually just hire somebody else to do that for you. So this is pretty straightforward. A vending machine business, you would be selling some sort of, you know, candy or some sort of toys or some sort of food. And then you just just have to go in and restock it every once in a while and then you'd have to restock it with cash too and then also collect the cash that you made Duh. And then same thing with an ATM business, except it's just purely cash in that case. So the big thing here is location, location, location. You have to find the correct location in order to do this. And that does take some work up front, but once you find a good location, you can cash flow on it incredibly easily. And it usually only costs a few thousand dollars to buy these vending machines. And in some cases for the lower level vending machines, you might be able to start it with just a couple hundred dollars. So there's an example of this 31 year old who turned his side hustle into a $300,000 vending machine business and he says he only works four hours a week and this girl started a vending machine where she basically bought it on Facebook marketplace for one point six thousand dollars and it now grosses her four hundred dollars a month so that is a really good investment because she made her entire ROI on her investment back in four months and now she just cash flows four hundred dollars a month every single month so yeah this can be really good I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score and when it comes to ATMs, it's even better. I'm gonna go ahead and give an ATM about an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be starting a membership website. 
So the easiest way to do this would be to start something like a Patreon, but you either have to one, have a following, or two, you have to be giving something away to them that's incredibly valuable to them. And the great thing about starting a membership website is you get what's known as monthly recurring revenue or MRR. And businesses that are looking to purchase your website or purchase your product are going to really like it if you have MRR. So basically, let's just say you are making like $10,000 a month in MRR, and let's assume that most of the people are actually staying on. That would mean that you're making about $120,000 a year, and a lot of the time you can actually sell that for a 15X multiple. So that means you could sell it for nearly $2 million. Whereas a lot of businesses out there, if they're making $120,000 a year, you could only sell them for maybe $150,000. But people who are looking to purchase this type of thing really love it when you're making monthly recurring revenue. So this can be an amazing business model to start. And there's this girl who talked about how she grew a 10K per month membership site in six months. So that's really impressive. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10, just because it is a lot of work up front. And you you do need to either find something that people really want or already have a following. The next one is going to be creating a lead gen website. So what exactly is a lead gen? This is basically where you create a website, usually it's in a local area, and the purpose of that website is to collect leads. Then you get leads for different types of services. Let's say a roofing contract, for instance. So you get a bunch of people who are interested in replacing their roof, and then you would sell those leads to a roofing company. Now you might get 10,000 leads and you sell all those leads for $2 each, that would be $20,000 a month. And you really didn't have to do that much yourself except for establishing the website and collecting the leads. Now, the reason that this is so good is a lot of the time, people are much more likely to enter their information if the website is sort of not a company themselves because you can kind of position the website as basically just sending them to the right company instead of, you know, you're the company and so obviously you're biased about it. And a lot of people would be much more likely to give their information to that type of website. And there's guys like this guy on Reddit who talked about how he was able to get this to a seven figure per year business very easily. And by the way, $2 per lead would be super low. For instance, this guy talks about how he would get paid about $15 per lead. And for some things, the leads could be a lot higher than that. So yeah, this is a really good one. Um, another great thing about this is it's very easy to sell these websites because sometimes the companies themselves would just buy the websites from you and you can sell them for massive multiples as well. So yeah, Legion is a really good way of making money. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one would be investing in startups. Now, this is a little bit of a riskier way of investing because most startups are not successful. But with that being said, if you're really good at evaluating new companies, this could be a way to make a lot more than traditional investing, such as putting your money into index funds or REITs. Okay. And there's various different platforms out there like Start Engine or different crowdfunding campaigns where it's a lot easier to invest in startups than you might think. So I myself invested in a startup, one that I really believed in, and I did it about a year ago or so, and it looks like my returns from that are going to be massive. They're gonna be much bigger than if I just put my money into the stock market. And an example of someone who made a ton of money investing in startups is actually Ashton Kutcher. And he basically built a $250 million portfolio with startups like Uber and Airbnb. So yeah, this can be a really good one. Um, does require a lot of expertise and probably a lot of work up front. So for that reason, I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be blogging. And this is sort of a tried and true way of making money that's been really good for like the last 20 years and it's still really good to this day. And basically what you're doing is you're creating a niche website where you talk about a very particular topic and then you make high quality content on that topic. And then there's various different ways of monetizing it all the way from ads to putting affiliate marketing stuff on there and also just creating your own online course as well. And there's also many other ways of making money from it as well, like selling physical products, for instance. So the thing about blogging is it is a lot of work up front, and then it also takes a lot of patience because most blogs aren't gonna make that much money in their first six months or even a year. It usually takes like two years or so, like a year and a half, two years. Patience before they start making a substantial amount of money. And the truth is most people just simply don't have that much patience. But with that being said, I've met hundreds of business owners, actually more like thousands of business owners at this point. And I've seen over and over again, blogging is a very easy way of making money. There's so many people that have been successful with blogging. It just takes patience. That's, that's literally like all you have to have is patience and you have to do some of the work up front. Now, the great thing about blogs is they usually kind of get to a saturation point 
point where maybe you've made like 150 articles, for instance. And at that point, it actually doesn't make any sense for you to make more articles. And so you can either just park the blog and just make an article every once in a while and just get that monthly recurring revenue from it because it's just going to keep making money for you. Or even better in most cases is you just sell it at that point. So yeah, blogging is a great way of making money. Uh, I like it a lot. The only problem with it is it just requires a lot of patience. But yeah, I really like it a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I made a video that did extremely well when I posted it. People are absolutely just raving about it. They love it. And that's going to be the 19 side hustles that are actually worth it in 2024. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.